Hello everyone and welcome back to another Magic Moment Monday. Today's a very special Magic Moment Monday because I have my homegirl to my right, Dina Deliberto, which means Dina of Liberty, <laughs> all the way from Sicily, Italy, to from the south side of Chicago. And you might be wondering, why is Dina here today on Magic Moment Monday? Because we always, as I explained to you, Dina, do a thing that represents a thing of moment of impact and love in my life. And today, you, my dear friend, are representing the Chicago Cubs. For those of you that don't know, I was born and raised in Illinois, but Peoria, not as cool as you, south side of Chicago. In Peoria, Illinois, and my dad is the number one biggest diehard Cubs fan you'll ever meet in your Besides life. Me. Besides you, you and my dad should meet. You guys would love each other or compete on uh, trivia and knowledge. Hey, let's go for it. Vic, where are you? Come on back to New York, baby. So, um, <laughs> Dina, I was gonna do a different Magic Moment Monday, uh, which we'll do another time, and as I was thinking about the Magic Moment Monday, Dina walked by with her amazing energy. She's got a big personality. She works here in the office with us, and <laughs> different WeWork office, and so she walked by and I just said, oh my God, Dina, you are Magic Moment Monday, baby. It's all about the Cubs. We made our division. We did it. We finally we did, did it. it. So growing up, my dad and mom would take us once a summer to see the Chicago Cubs game, and that was a big, Wait, big deal. I mean, we live in Peoria. What? Three hours. And you know, Chicago. Yeah, it's the Cubs. Wait, but listen, Dina. No, Chicago no, no, Cubs. No. Oh boy. Here we Get go. on the freaking train and go see the Cubs. Well, the train's not so easy from Peoria, Dina. So, Dina, stop <laughs> making my parents feel bad. Why would you? Do, why are you? Why are you doing this? Yeah, oh, my <laughs> Every summer we would go once a year. It was a very special trip. We would be able to buy whatever we wanted. We'd go to the Cubby, the Cubby store. Remember the Cubby store? I do. Right across the street from the Cubby Bear. Uh, mm, which you know well, probably. You gotta go. It's probably what I know more than. We'll, Bear. we'll talk about that off the, <laughs> off off the camera, Dina. There are certain things that the audience can't hear. So the Cubby Bear was a b epic <laughs> bar that is in Wrigleyville, and across the street there's a big, huge souvenir store. My dad would always say, "You and your brother and sister can go and pick out one souvenir," and that was a big deal. And uh, we would buy, you know, whatever we wanted. Then we'd go and eat the peanuts. We eat the frosted malted cups. Oh, Remember the malted you're cups? You're killing me. Do I eat malted cups? <clears throat> and yeah. we'd throw the peanuts and we'd eat the popcorn, have the hot dogs, all this stuff. So it was just a very special time. And the cups were very special growing up. We used to play in the backyard. My brother and my dad and I, all every single day, my dad would come home from work at five. He was the neighborhood coach. We would we'd play a game. Check this out though, this is a funny oh. story. So this is a funny story for you guys. So. For those of you that don't know who the Chicago Cubs are, Harry Carey was an iconic broadcaster, the, the best. So funny. Him and so Steve Stone. Him and Stoney. <laughs> you can call him Stoney. Stone. Him and Steve Stone were broadcasters, and Harry <laughs> Carey was famous, famous, world famous. He was probably pretty drunk for most of the games. Always drunk, Steve. Come <laughs> on, I love that too. And he would always say that he was a big fan of Budweiser beer. Bud. So he would say, get yourself a Budweiser. He would always say that, go out and have a bud. This bud's for you. As he spits all over his microphone. So my brother and I, I was eight, my brother was six. <laughs> or maybe I was nine and seven, but it was that around that age. Uh, we were playing in the backyard. We were playing baseball. Like we did every single day in the summer. And I said to my brother, I said, David, I am hot and I want something cold to drink. So let's go. So we go to the refrigerator, into, the, into our parents' house, open the refrigerator, and we open the refrigerator and there is cold cans of Budweiser. Mind you, neither of my parents drink at all. My mom has one glass of wine a week. My dad, I've never seen my dad take a sip of alcohol. So these were like probably 100 years old from like a party they had or something. They're cold. Ice cold, Dina. We pull cold it out, we pull Budweiser. it out, check it out. We pull it out, right? Open it up and we have two, do you remember the Dixie cups? Oh two, yeah, the flowers? Yeah, them. with the flowers. Mm -hmm. Two Dixie cups, two Di Nicks, this is a true story. Two Dixie cups, and I open the, the Budweiser and pour the two Dixie cups of beer. And my mother, who's in the living room, is like, I cannot believe that my children opened a soda without asking me. She <laughs> rushes to the kitchen and she sees that instead of a Coca-Cola, we have opened a Budweiser at age nine and seven. And she says, boys, what are you doing? And I, with a direct straight face, and it's funny, I remember this moment so vividly. I said to her, we're opening Budweiser. And she's like, why? And I said, because Harry Carey told us to. Bam! Bam! And that's how we roll. That's how, and yo, you're salsa, you're a whole nother level of gangster. But, <laughs> yo, 
whole lot of love. So my mom, my mom says, guys, do you like it? And I'm like, yeah. And my brother's like, no. <laughs> And she, and she said, guys, 20, you have to be 21 to drink Budweiser, so please put that away. And don't drink something unless you've asked for my permission. And I'll never forget that moment. And that moment we tell we tell it at family reunions all the time. And it just was representative of so many beautiful things. A great brother that I love so much. Great parents that took uh -huh. us to the game. My sister, the poor thing, hated probably every minute of it, but she was such a good sport. Um, and just seeing you every day is a reminder of a great childhood and... The thing, you know, sports taught me so much about discipline and hard work that I carry to entrepreneurship today. Um, teamwork and sacrifice and just constant persistent grind. I was, you know, never, ever, ever the fastest or biggest, but I was always a very good athlete because I was consistently working way harder than everyone and probably like a lot crazier than everyone. But this, for me, is the magic moment Monday. Tina, Commitment. I want to thank you. Finally got a World Series victory. How did you feel about that? Well, where were you when the Cubs won the World Series? Um, jumping up and down in my front room crying. <laughs> really, It's like, for those of you guys that don't understand how emotional this is for people that are from Illinois that have waited 107 years for this to happen, it's a real thing. And uh, so, Dina, every time I see you with all your positive <laughs> energy, I think of Chicago, you represent it for me. So, thank you for being on Magic Moment Monday. Thank Peace you for everybody. all watching. Peace out. Find that thing that was special about your childhood and find a way to celebrate it today. Magic Moment Monday from Chicago, Illinois to the Big Apple. Peace.